SpaceX's hopes for ending the year strong may have just been dashed. The company has had to delay missions for both the Falcon 9 and the Falcon Heavy, causing frustration for its clients. While the Falcon 9 mission was another Starlink satellite delivery, the Falcon Heavy had a much larger task at hand. The massive rocket was scheduled to launch with the U.S. Air Force's secret X-37B plane on a classified mission into orbit. So, what caused this delay and what happens next for SpaceX? Let's take a closer look. The final Falcon Heavy mission of 2023, scheduled to launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, was geared up to carry the X-37B, a classified space plane operated by the U.S. military. This mission, named U.S. Space Force, USSF, minus 52, initially planned for liftoff on a Sunday evening, but faced a 24-hour delay. SpaceX, in a social media post, didn't specify the cause, but mentioned the delay was necessary for additional pre-launch checks. The subsequent launch attempt was slated for a 10-minute window on Monday, December 10th, starting at 8.14 p.m. EST 0114 UTC. Unfortunately, the launch faced another delay, and once again, SpaceX did not disclose the reason for the cancellation. Following this, there was yet another delay on the subsequent day, attributed by SpaceX to a ground side issue. Notably, despite the delays, the payload, the X-37B space plane, remained in good condition. The most recent date set for another launch attempt was December 13th. However, despite multiple efforts to initiate the launch, it appears that the mission has now been postponed indefinitely. SpaceX conveyed this information through a Twitter announcement, stating, We are standing down from tomorrow's Falcon Heavy launch of USS F-52 to perform additional system checkouts. The payload remains healthy while teams work toward the next best launch opportunity. We're also keeping an eye on the weather and will announce a new launch date once confirmed with the range. Upon its eventual launch, this will mark the seventh mission for the X-37B Orbital Test Vehicle, OTV, since its initial venture into space in 2010. Notably, it will also be the maiden flight of the space plane aboard the triple booster Falcon Heavy rocket. SpaceX previously deployed the fifth OTV mission in September 2017 using a Falcon 9, while the earlier five space plane flights utilized the United Launch Alliance Atlas V 501 rocket. Much like its predecessors, numerous details about the mission, such as its orbit and post-liftoff activities, remain undisclosed. The U.S. Space Force released a statement noting, the use of a Falcon Heavy rocket will expand the X-37B flight envelope, launching into a new orbital regime and enabling unique experimentation opportunities for the X-37B. According to information shared through notices to mariners and aviators concerning impact zones for the first and second stages, the Falcon Heavy is anticipated to follow a northerly trajectory from Cape Canaveral, possibly executing a dogleg maneuver to achieve a high inclination orbit. In addition to exploring new orbital possibilities, officials indicate that the OTV-7 mission of the X-37B will feature technology demonstrations. While a detailed list of the specific technologies on board remains undisclosed, an Air Force press statement has outlined that the payloads will contribute to expanding the United States Space Force's understanding of the space environment. These experiments aim to test future space domain awareness technologies, playing a crucial role in ensuring the safety, stability, and security of operations in space for all users of the domain. The X-37B, through its seventh mission, continues to provide the United States with valuable knowledge to enhance both current and future space operations. General B. Chance Saltzman, the Chief of Space Operations, emphasized the significance of X-37B Mission 7, stating, the X-37B continues to equip the United States with the knowledge to enhance current and future space operations. X-37B Mission 7 demonstrates the USSF's commitment to innovation and defining the art of the possible in the space domain. Among the disclosed experiments on the mission is NASA's SEEDS-2 initiative. Major Tanya Downsworth, a spokesperson for the U.S. Space Force, explained that SEEDS-2 is designed to test the distinctive conditions of interplanetary spaceflight. This involves exposing SEEDS and materials to the radiation environment of space. Describing the significance of such experiments, Downsworth highlighted their vital role in understanding how humanity can undertake long-duration manned missions in space. She emphasized that these experiments align with a core objective of the X-37B mission, to facilitate easier access to space for America's scientists and engineers. During the OTV-6 mission, which commenced on May 17, 2020, and concluded with a landing at NASA's Kennedy Space Center on November 12, 2022, the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory conducted a noteworthy demonstration. The demonstration involved capturing solar energy from space 
utilizing the photovoltaic radio frequency antenna module, PRAM, payload. Chris DePuma, the PRAM program manager, shared insights about a year into the test, highlighting the potential applications of solar power satellites on an international scale. He explained that such satellites could be instrumental in supporting humanitarian missions and military operations. The concept involves collecting solar energy in space where it is abundantly available and utilizing these satellites as airborne power plants capable of delivering energy precisely where it is needed the most. While there are currently no publicly disclosed plans for the X-37B to play a specific role in cislunar architecture, some experts believe that its capabilities could offer valuable insights for future designs in this space. The maneuverability demonstrated by the X-37B may prove to be instrumental in shaping the development of vehicles needed for navigating the cislunar environment. As we extend our reach into the cislunar space, the necessity for vehicles with advanced maneuvering capabilities becomes apparent. For instance, the ability to move from Lagrange points to lunar orbit or Earth orbit and potentially land on either the Earth or the Moon will be crucial. Experts suggest that the maneuvering capabilities exhibited by the X-37B could serve as a foundational element, paving the way for future missions and contributing to the overall advancement of exploration within the cislunar environment. Additionally, the USS F-52 mission holds significance not only for the U.S. Space Force, USSF, but also for the U.S. Space Systems Command, SSC, and its collaborative efforts with SpaceX. Initially slated for a summer launch, the mission encountered a delay, resulting in it following the USS F-44 and USS F-67 missions after launches for Echo Star and NASA. Walt Lauderdale, the mission director and lead for Falcon Systems and Operations at SSC, emphasized that this mission provided the Space Force with a second opportunity to benefit from NASA's prior assessments of Falcon boosters. The first instance was observed during the launch of a Global Positioning System satellite in January of the same year. Lauderdale noted, GPS-3 SV-06 had first been flown for a crew mission, and we took advantage of NASA's work in evaluating that booster, and we didn't repeat what we didn't need to. It was the first opportunity for us to actually benchmark our processes for nominal work against what NASA did, and it was a good collaboration with NASA. The summer launch delay for USS F-52 has resulted in the side boosters having a greater number of previous flights than any other Falcon Heavy vehicle to date. This situation provides increased flexibility and reusability across the entire fleet of boosters. Lauderdale emphasized the value of such flexibility, especially given the busy manifest and potential for mission schedule adjustments. Confidence in the reliability of boosters in SpaceX's inventory without requiring extensive additional work is considered a significant benefit for the U.S. Space Systems Command and the military, enhancing the efficiency of bringing capabilities into orbit. While SpaceX is certifying Falcon 9 first stage boosters for up to 20 flights, the SSC does not aim to become a flight leader with any specific missions. However, the data gleaned from boosters with high flight counts, such as those with 18 flights, contributes to added confidence in the overall reliability and performance of the Falcon rocket family. Evaluating the future usability of a Falcon booster involves assessing various components beyond just the number of flights a booster has undertaken. This is because individual components, including engines, plumbing, and structural elements, need careful evaluation regarding their flight history and qualification. Collaborating closely with SpaceX, the SSC leverages detailed information from each component to instill confidence in the reliability of boosters for their missions. And as for the payload fairings for the time being, they will continue using new fairings for each mission. However, they are actively exploring the potential for fairing reuse in the future. Similar to booster reuse considerations, the evaluation process includes examining the environments the fairings have encountered both during ascent and descent. By partnering with SpaceX, the goal is to determine the reuse count and assess any potential additional risk for their missions, ensuring a thorough and comprehensive approach to space vehicle reusability. As of yet, SpaceX has still not announced a new launch date for the USS F-52 mission. Now that the Falcon Heavy has left the launch tower and returned to the hangar, we must wait for further updates on the status of the mission and what caused these numerous delays. Do you think SpaceX can launch the mission in the coming days? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.